I whipped up a batch of banana nut muffins. Want one? It's four o'clock in the morning. You've already baked? Yes, I did. I'm lying. I'm just as exhausted as you are. I bought them at a gas station and put them in a basket I found next to the pump. Good morning, team. Look at you all, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I brought a special visitor. Hi, Diana. And... man. Thought I'd check in, see how the magic happens. It's easy for management to lose touch with talent. We've missed your executive warmth. I'm here because the network's just received an amazing opportunity. The chance for a ratings bonanza. Don't tell me. Paul Ryan's finally taken a stand on something? Joffrey Latte. Ed Shannon is publishing a new book, and he singled you out to do his very first interview. It's an exclusive and a major coup. I want to schedule it for this week. Ed Shannon, Satan's sidekick? Why me? What did I do? You're the legendary Murphy Brown. He wants to step in the ring with someone who boxes in his weight class, and he knows the two of you will have a battle for the ages, like David Frost and Richard Nixon, or William F. Buckley and Gore Vidal. Latte return. <laughs> we can't have him on. He's a racist. And I'm already carrying a lot of guilt about that. Back home in Louisiana, my great-great-grandpa's tombstone reads, Here lies Homer Sherwood. He loved the cross, especially when it was on fire. <laughs> Shannon's views are not the point. Landing him for an exclusive can help us stand out in a very competitive 24-7 news cycle. We need Ed Shannon. Did someone say Ed Shannon? He's a Nazi. Think about something else, Frank. We are not considering having that slime bucket on. Why? To do one of those normalizing pieces? Nazis, they're just like us. I mean, we can... Oh, hi, Diana. Listen, I uh, think this segment is worth considering. Shannon may be out of the White House, but he's still a big newsmaker. Suck up. We could run Shannon's Twitter feed on the big board. It's extreme. And you should see the ones he's deleted. People think they're gone forever, but they're not. I know where to find them. That's right. I'm kind of known as the uh, Tweet Raider. <laughs> it's like Tomb Raider, but with tweets. I don't know who you are, but I like what I'm hearing. How long have you been with the show? Uh, about four weeks now. Come up to my office later. I want to talk about your future. I discovered Joffrey here in the mailroom. Now look at him. Latte. Look, Diana, this is a big decision. I'm going to need some time to think about it. Of course, you are my crown jewel. I will back up whatever choice you make for a new show in a highly competitive time slot that's vulnerable at any moment to cancellation because I have that kind of power. But don't let that influence your decision. <laughs> Joffrey, follow. 